So now, nah, what do you spool your your reel up with your newly purchased baby? Um, firstly, don't be scared if it is ported. A lot of the spools are ported to tie, even if it's braid, into the ports. Um, that's what I used to do when I used braid, just tie direct to the ports and wind it up. Just saves you having to put a bit of tape on or a tiny amount of fluorocarbon um, or mono backing, you know, so that the... Uh, the line doesn't slip on the spool, the braid. Um, yeah, so what I like to use personally, fluorocarbon, it just comes off the reel a little easier for light lures. Um, um, bite indication. It's similar to braid, just to me it's a little more sensitive on a slack line because you'll still see a flick if you're if you're fishing a slack line. That's why I, I can fish on I don't need to keep a little bit of tension on the line of braid, you have to. Otherwise I promise you you're gonna get a hit and that line just sits on top of the water. Um fluorocarbon is usually even with a loose line where it meets the water on a slack, it'll it'll pop up. Um yeah, and then obviously you've got braid, which a lot of guys fish. reason I don't like braid is <sighs> tying leader knots. When you are fishing really low weights um, with the braking systems and stuff set up the way you need it to be set up to cast those weights, starts, your knots need to be perfect because even then catching on the guides is going to mess up your cast. Um, and I just hate tying leader knots, especially in winter, it's the worst thing ever. Um, to me, fluorocarbon is just as sensitive. Um, I mean, you know, braid is braid, dude. And a lot of people here use it. And just, I used to, I got into the thing of using braid. But uh, I got into fluorocarbon quickly when I've seen the advantages of just, first of all, the times thing of not having to retie leaders because you're using light lines. So if you do get stuck, you're going to snap off. Um, one more word on the spools. Do not use the reel and the drag to try to snap your line off. Grab the line with your hand, pull gently, just pull gently. You'll be surprised how often it comes out of a snag where you, you can sit there flicking it and pinging it and looks like I'm playing pool. Um, and it's not going to come out. And if you if you pull really hard and put a lot of pressure, depending on how much, what line you're using, you're going to buckle the spool um yeah they're they're fragile they are fragile you need to look after them then we get mono i still use mono to this day for top water fishing because fluorocarbon floats i've tried tying direct to thin braid and if you're using a walk adult type lure you need to jerk and give it slack so it kind of goes over itself and the braid just hooks up on on the hooks um that's where i love fluorocarbon I'm, I'm fortunate enough to have reels that i can dedicate to things you know like my conquest is my dedicated small stream reel it seldom sees any line over five pounds usually three pound fluorocarbon i use it for targeting trout chub you know grayling things that live in the small streams For my normal BFS, five grams and up, it's usually my older brands or my Daiwas, T3 Air, things like that. They're all capable of casting sub three grams, just not as easily as this with the uh, with the upgraded spool. So that's uh, that's it, I'd say, man. Um, whatever your price point is, just you know, it's, if you're into casting reels, it's great fun, man. And then. Uh, just a few things on how to tune in your setup and how to get it started if you're just beginning BFS.